It would be different if I came in at the start of pre-season when you've got a blank sheet of paper, you've got six weeks, sun shining, you've got friendlies, you've got loads of training days to try new things. So people have asked me a lot in the first week or so about this new modern word of philosophy and DNA, what does Dean Oldman's team play like? We've got to find a way in the short term of playing to the strengths of the players that are in the building already. Now we're in the window, we're looking to add to the squad, we're looking to come out of the window with a more balanced and better squad than we're going into it with. And I'm confident we'll do that. So essentially, it's about getting the team winning in the short term um, and then build, and building on that. And quickly, we've got to get away from the danger zone, which is where I think the club was 19 when I took over. So we need to get away from the danger zone. We have to appreciate and respect where we are in the division. This is the lowest the club's ever been. We can't shy away from... You know, we're not a Premier League club at the moment. It's got the capabilities to get back there in the future. So accepting exactly where we are now, how do we get away from it? And, and pushing up towards a mid-table. And then I'm optimistic second half of the season, anything could happen. Mm. So if, if we're probably looking for something which factual, yeah. So I went in the, the first day I came in, um, I went and addressed. I thought I was coming in to address the first team players, 20, 25 players and some coaching staff. And, and the brilliant thing about this club is it's everyone's on the same site at the training ground. So you've got all the academy, you've got the under-21 squad, you've got the ladies team. And obviously the first team. So I went to the canteen. There was upwards there must have been 130, 140 people in the canteen. Women, it, it, it was brilliant because it, this is us. This is Charlton Athletic. And the feeling I got talking to people, and I did a lot of one-to-one -one conversations. I've never once drank so many cups of tea in my life because I'm going down to the academy building to just bump into someone and have a chat, get to know people. Um, the academy staff had a sort of a pre-Christmas. Uh, a few drinks in, in Borough Market over a beautiful part of London and I went across and they were looking at me like, what are you doing here? You're the first team manager. Well, why would I not be here? I'm part of the club like you are. It's showing everybody that we're all human beings and we're all the same. The first message to everybody was kitchen members of staff, kit men, kit ladies, ladies team, first team. We are all as important as each other. It's the real. For me, life, life experience has taught me to be able to focus on what's in front of me. That's what I spoke to you about. That's how I deal with the players every day. That's what I truly believe in. So coming out of the tunnel for the beginning of the game would be completely surreal, having been in, in on the other side of that in the stands hundreds of times in over 35 years of my life. Um, but once I'm walking down that touchline ready for the game, I'll be, I'll be totally focused on the game and will be till the very, very end. It'll be more around... My family will be more around. Danielle and the kids will be there. There's 28 family members going, hopefully. <laughs> We've probably stealed and borrowed for tickets. So everybody wants to be there because they know what special one it is. It'll be for my wife, my kids, my family, my dad. My dad in particular. My dad's been 70 years old. My dad has been around his whole life. and I wouldn't be where I am without him. And It'll be pretty, um, putting words in his mouth, it'll be pretty incredible to see some leading team out at Old Trafford. I've yeah. been there through highs and lows over 60 odd years so for me the focus will be on the game it'll be afterwards it'll be after the game yeah. you know when you go back home and, and I'm talking to the kids and Danielle and my dad and my family around what was it like and, and all that but it's important that we go there and you know with 10,000 fans um, up to Old Trafford when there's no trains coming back to London that night after half nine so they're either coming back at four in the morning on the coaches or they're staying over so it's probably two days off work two days off school for some of the kids that's a pretty incredible achievement, isn't it? On the back of Christmas and all the rest of it. So that shows you really what this club can be and what has and what it's been before. So it's important. I think we will be able to show ourselves in the best possible light on the night as a club, as the staff members going from the stadium. Was, so it'll be a really good moment for the club, I think, to show what you know, for the younger players as well. Just you know, this is what it looks like. This is what the top level looks like. And go and test themselves in that environment. Yeah, and. and I think they're in a good place. I think talking about the connection and the supporters, they've got that back. That was that's been lost for a few years. That's he's got that back, Eric, through the way that he's fronted it up, the way he's dealt with the Ronaldo situation. As you said there, when Rashford Marcus was late for a meeting and all of a sudden he's out of the team. His form on the back of the World Cup has been exceptional. So clearly his man management skills are good. And after that Brentford defeat early in the season mm. and the fallout from that. People were questioning what's going to happen next, and you, you can only 
admire what he's done since then. Um, he's changed the whole culture of the clubs, no doubt about that. Speak to a lot of people on the inside and the, the whole working environment. The, the standards have dropped previously from what I've been told, so that they've been they've risen again to what you'd expect them to be at that level. So, um, still a lot of work for him to do, obviously, to get back to where they were. But they're on the right track, I think. Now, I think they found the manager. They, they, it, it looks he's going to be there for the long term. So, we, yeah, and it, we. It, that's the message we provide to our own children, and that hopefully we're a beacon of hope to, to some people who people who've been through what we've been through. Obviously, losing a child, but more than that, just you can't get away from the the after effects of, of the lockdown and um, where the country's at the moment. Like, you can't get away from the troubles that are going on. So hopefully, people can look at me and Danielle. She's got she really struggled. Everyone had their own COVID, I suppose, and she really struggled. She went to a dark place mentally again and unfortunately but she's managed to overcome that through finding a, a purpose for herself again so she didn't just want to be Dean Oldham's wife and the kid's mum she wanted to be Danielle again than she was when she was on TV as a kid she's got a career going again she just needed an opportunity she got an opportunity from a guy called Chuck who she used to work at CITV weirdly enough all them years ago and he gave her an opportunity to talk TV which she's now presenting on she's hopefully about to get herself her own Saturday night TV show. So she's come full circle as well. So um, purely and simply, like just never give up. Just exactly the same things I tell me 15 year old oldest and me 14 year old and all the kids, all of our kids is aim for the stars. Just don't don't have any barriers in front of you. Uh, it's pretty mad to think I'll be on the two side Old Trafford. Um, but it shows you what's possible if you're prepared to get off the canvas every time you get knocked on the floor. So, um, for me and Danielle, personally, it'd be a magical moment. There's no doubt about that. Um, just, don't lie, just don't let life get on top of you for too long. Just keep swinging. Yeah.